Hi everyone and welcome to Big Barn's Kiss Cookery School. Today I'm going to be making an asparagus puff pastry uh, sort of tartlets with prosciutto and goat's cheese. So first of all you'll need some asparagus, all locally bought. And then what you'll need to do is bend the asparagus and where it breaks you don't want the woody end. Okay, so you will need a small amount of puff pastry, your asparagus and prosciutto and goat's cheese. So once you've broken your asparagus, get some goat's cheese and just put it onto your puff pastry square. You don't need a lot, but a, you know, a decent amount to taste really. And then you'll need some of your, your prosciutto. So if you just split the prosciutto, down, it should naturally tear and break. And that's all you'll need really. Just enough to wrap around your asparagus like so, so it covers the bottom end of the stalk. So then you just place that down in the middle of the goat's cheese and the pastry and you just wrap it up like that and place it onto a baking tray. Now normally I would also do sort of an egg covering for these to help them go a golden colour, but my dog has eaten my uh, pastry brush, so I won't be able to do that today. And you have your oven at about 200 to 220 degrees for about 15 minutes, and that's all they need. So here are some that I made earlier, which would normally be slightly more golden, but they taste absolutely delicious. They are incredibly easy, and they are perfect to have as a starter for a dinner party or a little canapé to go around. Perfect with some champagne or a bit of Prosecco. Right, cool, that's me. Thanks for watching.